Welcome to Health Coach for Women. Intentional living for more happiness and fulfillment in your everyday life with your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Join Marsha as she shares her own personal wellness journey, as well as stories from our guests that will enlighten and inspire you to move towards better health and happiness. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Hello and welcome to another episode of Health Coach for Women. Today I want to talk to you about taking the road less traveled. We have so many people today who are just following the masses, not I wouldn't say going with the flow, but just living life with just just basically following uh, what others are doing and not really taking the time to really think things through and really researching things, doing basically just doing your own due diligence or or simply just doing something um, that you want to do, right? Tapping into your own self and your, and your own authentic self uh, rather than trying to follow the masses or be like someone else, right? Being like someone else, um, paying attention to other p- people's stories on social media or whatever and, and, and wanting to live the life that they have or, or acquire the things that they have um, without really truly just being their own self, being their own person, right? Being their own unique self, right? And not worrying about what someone else has or what someone else is doing, but just prioritizing and and focusing on yourself, uh, on yourself and what you need to do for you and yours, you and your family, right? And I say that uh, simply because so many of us, um, I w- well, I would say not so many of us, but many people are walking around basically in a cloud, in a, in a fog, uh, in the clouds, with their head in the clouds, and are absolutely clueless as to the things around them right, as to the things that's happening around them. And and if you just take a moment, right, to just really reflect, right, really reflect on you, uh, your sole purpose, what it is that you want and what you desire, um, you really need to do that. You really need to take the time to just reflect, Right. Just take a time to reflect on what you want, and what you desire and not worry about what everyone else is doing. And I would say even and even for those entrepreneurs who are uh, going out there, starting uh, their own business, wanting to start their own business. Uh, kudos, kudos on that, because no job is secure. Right. I mean, we pretty much know that by now. Right. So no job is absolutely uh, secure. So uh, kudos to those who venture out and want to start their own business. Um, it, it's a journey, right? And, um, you know, don't worry about what others are doing. Sometimes you have to be the one and, and you have to be willing to experiment and try different things that work. Try different things to see what works and what. And when you do that, you go back and you tweak and you see what needs to be, you know, uh, fixed it or what you can add or take out, right? And so that's the same way things that people need to do in their lives as well, right? And so when we surround ourselves um, with people who are not on the same path, right? We surround ourselves with people who are not on this on the same path as us, and let's just say. The majority of those people are, and and it and it's not to put down another person. It's just that they're not on the same path as yourself, right? So you may be on the path of whatever, uh, your own health journey, your own spiritual 
uh, a wellness journey, your own mental health journey, whatever it is, whatever journey you're on, mental wellness journey, whatever it is, um, and you are surrounded by people who are not in alignment with what you are trying to do, what you are trying to achieve and accomplish, uh, that is when you need to take that road less traveled. So if the majority of your of the people that you are around are 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 people who uh, just may, maybe focus on other things, right? Maybe superficial things, uh, focus about just uh, maybe just getting money, you know, or or just having the nicest lavish clothes and jewelry, or or maybe someone who's just selfish, or or someone who's just engaged in negative. Uh, negative talk, right? Negative talk. You know, we all know people who are who could be uh, negative, right? Negative self talk, you know, uh, or because they haven't done something, they don't believe that you can do it, right? And so, if you're surrounded by people like that, and that is when you need to decide and make the decision of taking that road less traveled, right? So that's what I mean by that: taking the road less traveled, of where maybe the majority and the masses are going and what they're doing, and just following your own path, not being afraid to take a step forward, take a take a leap forward on doing your own thing, right? Because if you never, if you never try, if you never make the attempt to do it, then how will you know if it will be successful and beneficial for you or not? The only way to do that is to take the action and do it. Of course, you would go and have a step-by-step plan, right, on what you need to do and how you need to do it, right? And set a time frame. Sometimes a time frame doesn't mean it'll it'll happen in that exact time that you set, but it's just setting some goals to do that, right? It's just setting some goals to do that. So that's what I mean by taking the road less traveled, right? We don't need to follow what everyone else is doing. We don't need to uh, do what everyone else is doing, Right. Or look like how everyone else is looking, dressed like everyone else is dressing, speak the way everyone else is speaking. And that's what separates you from the rest. That's what makes you unique. Right. And you don't have to fit into this status quo of what uh, uh, mainstream or or what the masses think you should uh, look and how you should uh, present yourself, right? You have to be authentic to who you are, right? Be your authentic self. Nothing, nothing shows better than you being your authentic self. So whoever you are, present who you are and be who you are, right? And, and, and don't, don't try to conform, uh, and, and, and be bold about it. You don't have to be afraid, right? And so, and that, and that leads me to another point is that fear keeps us in bondage, right? Fear keeps us in bondage is what keeps us back. If we can be our own true self and not being afraid to be who we are, right? And when, and who we are doesn't have to be perfect. Who we are is not blemish free, right? And we all have things that we can, uh, improve with ourselves. And that's what, that's what this is all about, striving to be better every day. Not to be perfect, right? Not to be perfect. I'm not perfect. No one here is perfect. No one is perfect, right? And so it's about being better, doing better, being your own authentic self. You know, you don't have to follow the crowd. <laughs> Again, that's what separates you. You don't have to follow the crowd and try to be like someone else and try to be like this person or try to be like that other person or do what they're doing and and dress like how they're dressing, you know, or, or anything like that. It's just being true to who you really are and, and stepping into that path, that road of the road less traveled, right? Because many people, many people are walking around with blinders on, right? And just following what others are doing, just doing what others are doing. But if you take that leadership role, if you take that initiative, to just go on your own, do your own thing, experiment on what it is that you want to do, right? Then you can, you can, because it's, it's about when you can tap into who you really are, when you can, and for example, I'll just say, you know, you have people who have uh, gone to medical school or gone to school to become doctors and, and um, lawyers and things like that. 
And once they've done the profession, because they, their whole uh, family have a whole family history of doctors and professionals, lawyers and things like that. And it was pushed upon them that, oh, you should go to school, become a lawyer. And all. So you have, you, you, you're, you're, you're following this expectation, this high expectation, what is set by you uh, from either your parents or people in the family or whatever, right? And so you follow that path, okay, because you want to follow the path of what's, what was there before you, right? Instead of following your own path, you have many people who done these things and then they find out that after doing it, after going to medical school, after going to law school or whatever it is, whatever career, and they find that they're unhappy doing those things and they change careers and they give up becoming a doctor or they give up, you know, uh, medicine or, or, or being a lawyer or being whatever, whatever career uh, that they have chosen, they have chosen another path. And so, and that's, again, going back to that road less traveled. That is what is meant by taking the road less traveled. It is not being afraid to be your authentic self. It is not being afraid to choose a different path, right? Because we all have that gift of choice. And if you missed that episode, you need to check that out, the gift of choice. If, you know, when you choose a different path, you're choosing a different path because it's something that you want to do. It's something that fills you up. It, it fills your cup and you find, and it's rewarding for you. Who here on, on this planet, you know, don't want to be happy, right? For the most part, many of us just want to be happy. And so fi- part of finding and being, having that happiness is being to be your authentic self, being to, uh, to being able to choose this path, this career, um, uh, finding this passion or whatever it is that you want, that you desire, that makes that that makes you feel good, right? And so, if that is your path, and it's not what uh, maybe that your family have set for you, it's okay. And you, you know, you don't want to let your uh, family down. You don't want to let. Uh, anyone in the family down and 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 be talked about and ridiculed and and which and and being told that oh this decision is this is stupid you know you want to be a professional dancer or you want to be an actor or whatever oh, yeah uh, stop dreaming or no you 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 can't you can't listen to that and unfortunately you know many people do listen to that and they give up on their dreams. You know, they give up on their dreams because of what they've been told and and they actually convince themselves that that was correct, right? They convince themselves that, oh, yes, this, this, was, this was the best choice. Yeah, even though in their heart's desire, they know that this is what they yearn for. This is what they truly want. So you won't find that happiness unless you really, really can be honest with yourself. All right, really be honest with yourself and be okay with being different, separating yourselves, uh, yourself from the masses of what other people are doing, right? And not being concerned. And, and by no means am I saying that you're better than anyone else, right? It's just that because you have a different path and because you may think differently from others around you and because you're in alignment with something totally different that elevates yourself, which you feel elevates you, it may not be in alignment with the other people that are around you because they are not on that path. They are on a different journey. And so everyone's journey is different, right? Everyone's journey is different. And you have to be okay with that. And you have to be okay with, you know, your vision is your vision. And so what dreams and goals and dreams you have, someone else may not see it or believe in it. And it's okay because, again, it's your dream. It's your vision, right? So you want to go to school and become um, maybe a nurse or you want to go to school and become, you know, learn a trade, maybe welding or whatever. Yeah, they have women welders. Um, they're, uh, whatever it is, whatever it is, an engineer, whatever, you know, an IT person, 
whatever it is that you like. And so that's that's the beauty of it all, of having these different careers, these different, you know, uh, things that you can do, right? These different uh, outlets and different things of whatever with technology and you can do and become whatever you want now in this day and age, right? You can have a whole new look, a whole new body if that's your choice, right? So whatever you choose to do, hey, there's no judgment here. A person is free to do what they want, right? You're free to do whatever you want to do. And so the point of what I'm trying to make is not being afraid to take to take that chance with yourself to go a different path, right? To to take the road less traveled, right? And so maybe you are want to study marine biology, right? And you're fascinated by by uh, marine life in the ocean, right? And so and it's so much part of the oceans that's still undiscovered, right? And so maybe you want to do that. So don't be afraid if someone says that idea is, you know, ridiculous. Oh, what? Who Who chooses that? Well, you know, there are people who choose to be a marine biologist and there's nothing wrong with that. And when they and research and study and find all these new things and new life that's in the ocean, right? That that was, wasn't discovered, that they discovered, you know, uh, recent discoveries, right? So embrace that. Embrace the part of you that is either it's dying to seek knowledge, uh, dying to learn more, you know, uh, whatever. You want to learn a new language. You want to take up a new skill. Um, you just want to elevate uh, on, on a different level, right? And so it's about growth, um, because nothing stays the same. Change is the only constant. Um, because if you're not if you're not growing, you're not learning, you're not elevating. And that's what is meant by taking that road less traveled. You know, and 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 it and it doesn't come from just staying fixed in on watching the news all day. Right? It doesn't come from that watching uh, mainstream media, right? It comes from you either reading books learning, researching your craft, uh, studying what it is that you want to learn, uh, knowing more about the subject matter, uh, and and, uh, learning new skills, right? Uh, And surrounding yourself with positive people, right? Surrounding yourselves around people who operate at a higher frequency, right? And so what I mean by that is, you know, when you're operating from a higher frequency, you or you tend to, uh, how can I explain this? You, when you're operating from a higher frequency, you don't really focus on these negative, the negative things, right? You don't focus on, on the negatives of what you can't do, right? You operate from a place of what you can do, right? On the things you can do and the things you do have, and rather than the things that you don't have or or what you can't do, right? And so that is what I meant. What I mean by that. And so let's do that. You know, let's not be afraid to. I, I don't care how old you are or how young you are, right? You're not too young to uh, do something different, right? You have. Uh, They feature it sometimes even on the news at the very end. They may feature a story of, you know, a young a young kid that maybe raised money for something. He did a fundraiser. He sold candy or he or she sold candy and raised money and started their own business that, you know. So who's to say it? it, it, Age is nothing but a number. So anyone can do anything they want as long as they put their mind to it. And if you're older and you're thinking that you're too old to go back to school or you, you just, you're just you just too old to do this or, or, or you, you would never fit in because, you, you know, your, maybe your memory is not that great. And no, stop telling yourself these lies, right? Stop telling yourself these lies that you can learn. You can learn. You can acquire, you know, new skills, right? new information, you know, 
learn how to, you know, what's these all the gadgets that they have using, you know, all this new technology. I mean, I myself am still learning some of the new technology that they have, right? So it it doesn't matter. None of that really matters. What matters is your desire to want to learn. What matters is your desire to want to do more, to learn, right? And to continuously learn and grow and elevate, right? And so um, we have to be willing to be our authentic selves, right? And be willing to take that road less traveled, right? And to be willing to separate ourselves from those who are not in aligned with our path and those who are not in alignment with our journey on what we want. And again, everyone's journey is different. Everyone's journey is different, right? So it, it, it won't be the same. My journey is not the same as your journey. Your journey is not the same as mine or, or, or your spouse's journey, right? And so we have, we have different journeys, things that we wish to accomplish and achieve. And as long as you have that support system, it's okay uh, for one to have a different uh, path, right? Uh, but as long as you are getting that support that you need, right? That positive support, that uplifting support um, that you need that was required for you, right? And so where it doesn't mentally drain you, it doesn't, uh, you know, deplete your energy, right? We're looking for things that's going to boost our energy, right? Encourage us and motivate us and inspire us, right? Um, and, and, and having a good support system is definitely helpful. It's definitely helpful. So this episode is rather short. I just wanted to talk, mention that a little bit about taking the road less traveled um, because some people, some people are still lost. You know, many people are waking up, but some people are still lost. So um, again, it's and I want to add on to that is, you know, a part of intentional living and really finding that true happiness is finding it within yourself and being true to who you really are. Um, that's the beauty of that. That is the beauty of really finding um, that true happiness and fulfillment that you are looking for. Um, so um, be okay with being imperfect, but always strive for better. Always strive to do better, right? And if you can pull someone along the way to help them, that's a beautiful thing, you know? But if not, you know, again, a person has the right to choose. Uh, and if they can take your information and take your story and and and, and if they can listen to your story and, and learn something from it and benefit from it, Great. And if not, then oh well. You know? And is is no is no harm in that. Is no is no anger, no bitterness in that. It's just finding that spot for you, being happy within yourself. So it starts on the inside. That's where it begins. And and not being afraid to choose that path, to choose the road less traveled. That is all I have for you on this episode, my friends. I thank you so much for tuning in and I'm looking forward to the next two episodes. Uh, I have some guests that I'll be interviewing. So stay tuned for the next episode and bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to Health Coach for Women with your host, Marsha Rupchan Walker. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please be sure to rate, subscribe, and review on your preferred podcast listening platform. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.